In today's video, we'll be exploring the concepts of collectivism and individualism as described by G. Edward Griffin in his book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. G. Edward Griffin says that the concept of collectivism is the idea that the group is more important than the individual. This is the idea that the state or society is more important than the individual. It's the idea that you should sacrifice yourself to the greater good of the collective. In a collective society, individuals are expected to put the needs of the group above their own needs and interests. This can lead to a loss of individual freedom and autonomy. People may of course choose to work together toward a common goal, and they can achieve great things together. The difference with collectivism is that the group is mistakenly viewed as being more important than the individuals that it is made up of. In contrast, individualism is the idea that the individual is more important than the group. It's the idea that individuals should have the freedom to pursue their own goals and interests without interference from the state or society. Individualism can lead to greater personal freedom and autonomy, but regardless of the pragmatic good that can come from this worldview, is it not the only moral choice? Can one imagine a world of slavery in which a newborn baby is somehow imagined to have a debt to others, or that the general community owes a debt to this person who they don't even know yet? That would be a sad state of oppression. Thanks for watching today's video on collectivism versus individualism, as described by G. Edward Griffin and me, Shepard, the Voluntarist. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on important social issues and moral philosophy.